Generic greetings and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode we took some more towns, we also incited Riot here and Onderon is now its own empire, which means we'll probably get another flag when we uh, <laughs> when we conquer it in, uh, <laughs> in some time. Um, we also designed this thing, uh, build landship. Uh, we made the autosave too, no, the encroacher, which... I have no idea if it's going to work, but that's why we build these things and try it out. The whole point is that if we wanted to win, quite honestly, the way you win in this game is by, as I said, high-level bombing. Um, even if they've got flak, just, just lots of bombers and stuff. It's generally cheap to do. And um, boarding, fast boarding, and that's really the <laughs> two ways to win it. But... Um, we're not about that now. We've, um, we've done that. <laughs> what we want to do is, you know, interesting designs, strange designs, and... Uh, see what we can make. Um, so, what I want to do is go for computers. Um, I did go for um, other stuff there, but I think that means our cannons no longer explode, and yeah, that's good, especially for the thing we've just got. I think we'll go for computers. We do have aerial torpedoes unlocked already, but we that's because we got it from a technology thing. No, we, um, we attacked the big walker I think so we got it from there so um, I don't need to go that way but if I do it means we get the options here as well we've got mech spiders as well but I think we're computers because once we've got computers we can show it probably on the the encroacher actually and that'll give us a nice little bonus anyway um, view city that's gonna be a bit of a nightmare to assault uh, this one view city that's gonna be even Ooh, and actually that's a high-level bombing job and uh, they're actually what's happened here um, Looks like he's sent something towards me, and it's... Oh, it is a high-level bomber, so I'm going to... I'm actually going to lose this fight. I mean, I didn't really do much anyway, because we, we've just taken it, but... Yeah, there you go. Bombed to death. Gone. Ah, oh, interesting. Defeated. So, what are we going to do about that? Dragon Rider is what we're going to do about that. <laughs> so, I'll start the fight, and hopefully I... Have a higher service ceiling. It's not going too well for them, quite honestly. I believe this is a pressurized suspendium at the back. That's what keeps this thing. This keeps this thing in the air. And I think we're about to cut it in half. We did. We managed to cut it in half. <laughs> like a blowtorch or a gas axe or whatever you want to call it. Plasma cutter. We went down the middle and uh, yeah. Got two halves. Brutal takeover. Um, mech spiders. Um, mech spiders is probably a job for the York. We should really, really um, retrofit that. Uh, I'm going to move it back and retrofit that. I was going to scrap that because we just don't need it in our lives. So... We want to refit it, open design, the New York, and refit, which takes almost no time at all. And also, build land ship, we can build the encroacher. And we can only build one of them, because, yeah, <laughs> why wouldn't we be able to? Uh, let's attack the giant spiders. Let's just see what it's like. I mean, this doesn't benefit me per se, because... Um, you know, it's, it's really assaulting these two. But it's nice to just try it. So there's the spiders. I'm going to move this thing um, over to... Well, probably there. And move these down here. The problem I might have is that... Obviously, the spiders um, do board you. Uh, they have borders, and they use that um, web there. You see that? That web. But what I want to do is get close, and... Oh, yeah, that's... That's an issue for them. Hopefully we'll be able to... Oh, their spiders are dead. See the, the little baby spiders? They're now dead. Because all of these <laughs> aerial hazards and planes took them out. And it's backing up. It, it can't really deal with that. Look at that. That, that looks cool. That assault... Uh oh, that's not good. Um, it's dragging the sterling closer to it. Well, there's one place you don't want a sterling to be. And that's in your grill. Because it's full of miniguns. Which is... Um, well, let's, we saw that worked out, so that's a win. I didn't expect it to be that easy. 
Um, anyway, I guess we did design it to do something like that. Giant bees. Can we take the bees out? We could probably take the bees out. Um, the question is, do we want to take the bees out? I think we do want to take the bees out. Fire caused by foreign agent destroyed the Valiant Rampart in Fjord. And where is that? Um, you know what? It'll be... It'll be just a defensive structure, and I really don't care. So I'm going to take these giant bees out. So, as before, we're going to put the ship actually built there. That should give it what we need. And then we're going to use this to defend it. Which I called destroyers before. And um, said about the, you know, the protect of the carrier. And uh, apparently that was incorrect. That's not what uh, normally defends them. But anyway, giant bees boarding us. Near the slicel slicels. The shink shink shink. Of giant bees that apparently can use stairs but that's taking that out without a great issue so I think that's what we need now go forward go down get them suspendium cannons in we'll know when they're there because you'll hear a clung clung like someone's dropping a pan there we go and now we surround it Get some suspendium honey or something. <laughs> this could be a cartoon here. We're firing in the middle and then that drops out the way and then we shoot each other. Yes, but correct application of copious amounts of bullets seems to override the beehive's integrity. It is quite tough, however. But these, these, the pairing of these two are really good. The Sterlings and the New York. It's, uh, it's good actually. It works. I'm gonna max speed it out because, quite frankly, oh, I was gonna say it's gonna take a while, but it didn't take too, too much. Uh, we got twelve. What? Twelve grand? That seems a bit. That seems a bit iffy. 12 grand. That's cheap. Anyway, I'm not going to complain. Just an observation. So, we're going to have our assault again. Sterlings. With the New York. And the, the amount of rifles on this is taking the planes out. But we are managing to destroy them now. Oh, the flak as well is obviously taking them out as well, but I think we've destroyed most of the flak. Sterlings are taking some damage. Not great. Could go behind, but they're just—I I believe they're symmetrical in the ram, and so I'm not going to do that. Is the suspendium firing? No. Um, so we'll go for a brutal takeover, and what we need to do is really need to bring it back to to repair it. We need a—we <clears throat> need a city forward. Really want to attack that. Actually, view the city. Could I take that out with what I've got? No, I don't think I can. The charges, however, combined with... I think we could. I think we could. So the charges and all that's going to meet up. And then we're going to invade. What I'm also going to do is something very silly. Build ship. I want to build... Do I want to build another New York? Or do I want to go really insane. Um, build landship and build another encroacher. I think I do. I think I want to see what two of them do. <laughs> Which is really bad because we don't even know if one of them is going to be any good. Never mind two of them. Anyway, so we will put our planes there. We're going to put the damaged... Well, one of them is damaged. Um... 
Sterling's there, and then the borders are pretty much where they need to be. Um, so we'll start the fight, immediately we'll order those to go right above them, because they don't have any flak. So we'll say, go to there. These will just move straight forward. There's a lot of shots, obviously. Um, oh, that had to stop because it was going to hit the ground, it didn't go up and over, which is a shame. Just going to get closer here. The closer the better for those things. And we're going to now order these to come down. And what we'll do is we'll order them in groups of twos. So that they stack on top of each other. Which is sometimes... Oh, that didn't... I didn't see that. Um, which is sometimes a bad plan. But if we do it correctly, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It means they can chain from one to another. So instead they can jump from one ship to the other, you see. So when I issue the boarding on that one... To move to there, to there, and then to there. Yeah, you can see they're chaining from one ship to the other. That's what I meant. And all these can board the second one, the one in the middle. You can see they're jumping between the two. And we have not yet captured this one at the back, but we are firing our own. We are firing some stuff, I think. You see them. Oh, they're taking that first. Right, so that's now captured. So we now have access to that. And, ooh, the sterling exploded. We've lost the sterling. I mean, if nothing else, the York at the back, I'm just going to put on aim fire and it'll, it'll probably win this just by um, she amount of bullets and time. I'm going to flip these round. There's some more boarding. You see the jumping from one to another. <laughs> oh, block wars! We got block wars going on now. Look, <laughs> block wars! Oh, good, good. The sterling blowing up. Ammunition's about to blow. Oh, that's a sterling. Well, they served as well. Them sterlings. You can see the uh, how tough these things are. There's another capture, but sadly. One of the shots that came in, I believe, took the bridge out. There's a victory. Um, we're going to go for a gentle takeover. Actually, no, brutal takeover, because I don't really care too much. And I will immediately... Actually, I don't even need to move. I think that's fine. The problem I might have is that now... Um, what I want to do is make sure that that... Hang on. That... Right, that's fine. So I want to move the fast ships down there and that to there. I don't think the charges require any repair. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, defences on here. I might as well just repair them because, quite frankly, they were fine. I mean, they, as always with these vessels, succumb to high-level bombing very quickly. But that's to be expected. Um, looks like he's moved, uh, he's taken something over here, which is sort of to be expected. What I'm going to do is invade that. That was an immediate takeover. It's going to be the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to chop them down. So we'll move forward. And we're just going to cut that in half again. It actually sounds like water hitting a tin roof. Like tappy tap 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 eyes. Or maybe like a plastic. Yeah. Oh dear. That was just recorded in someone's conservatory, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> and there, there it goes down. So, we'll have to take this out though. Come down and max speed it out. Actually, we'll back. And there we go, that's a victory. Brutal takeover once more. Just gonna assault here. I'm just waiting for this uh, big ship to. Ooh, no fleet. Uh, just waiting for this big ship to get sorted. Where's the Coventry? It's there, isn't it? 
Let's move it to there. So, we need to take over Sullen, Ebeck, and then the main town there. I'm waiting for this to finish, but quite frankly, it's taking so long. <laughs> um, do we have... We have a small shipyard, tiny shipyard, and uh, dragons have started nesting here. Oh! That's not good. That's exactly where we started. Um, so I guess we'll just have to try and win by the application of... Um, good grief, look at the speed in which it can just zip past. All these move, flip. Uh, yeah, application of grape shot cannon is the way forward, I think. Or do we just flee? Because they're not firing. I'm going to flee, quite frankly. It's, there's no way I can really take that on. So, that is a sterling job, that one. It's not a sterling job, it's, a, it's like we, we didn't work, but it's a job for the sterlings is what I was trying to say. Um, I'm going to cancel the building of that thing because, quite frankly, it's not needed. Four sterlings are, though. Those have been moved to there. We will repair the ones that need repairing, which is only the front dormy thing on there that needs to be sorted. There is the computers all sorted. We'll go for... We've got Suspendium Cannon. Ammo Storage from ability or Extra Ammo Storage. Which one would I prefer? Well, I've been building... I've been building... the ships with a lot of water, so Extra Ammo Storage, really. So it's like a wet ammo rack, or... Don't want to... Efficient. We'll go for efficient. There we go. So the dragons have started nesting there. That's a job for the York. I'm just gonna, uh, actually, it is refitted, I think, isn't it? And where's he salting now? With this again. Same again. Cut in half. Go down the bottom. Victory. And fly back. <laughs> there you go. Um, the dragons, yeah. A pair of dragons have made their home there. Really, it is a job for the sterlings. So we'll meet that up here, there, and there. Probably only needs two or three. Well, there's two. Yeah, it looks like the computer's basically not got much to do here. Sending the same thing. Terminal again. Fog is making it hard to see the enemy. Well, it's probably because of the amount of wreckage on the floor that's burning. It's about the same area. So, I'll finish off this other sterling. Oh, there's our extra ammo storage as well. Might as well put Empire of Science on uh, and go for bombers and biplanes. Why not? And let's see if we can take these dragons out. So we have hopefully enough to deal with them. Um, they have a higher service ceiling. I'm going to put the carrier right at the back and we're going to have like a, a line of sterlings, but we're going to offset them. So that, quite frankly, one doesn't crash into the other. Although that might happen anyway. And then we'll start the fight. They also have a higher service ceiling. But what we can do is just basically flip them. There we go. What we'll have to do is just keep manually moving them around. Well, there's one of them gone. The Hazars probably won't be able to catch up, you know. 
Yeah, you see, it's just, it's just setting, it's just flaming the hussars to death. But the sterlings are, yeah, they're fine. There's technically a nest, but I don't think you have to defeat it. It's already defeated, yeah. And um, we've just got dragon hide armor. Ooh, <laughs> really, really. That's interesting. Um, right. We also now have the encroacher. So it would be rude of me not to meet up there. Actually, it's not that slow. I, that's, that is something I did not expect. It's faster than I thought. So we're going to go for Skulton and we have uh, the encroacher. Um, which I'm going to put there, even though it's going to crush down on that tree and probably crush into the ground. Uh, we're not going to... We're actually going to reserve the sterlings. And the question is, do we reserve... Oh, let's reserve the lot and let's just start the fight. I think we can bring them in anyway. Yeah, we can activate them. Because I just want to see what these do. Ah, oh, it's surrendered. Come on. Brutal takeover. <laughs> Verdebeck. And reserve, 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 start, there's the shots, most of them are missing, we'll put that on aim fire, victory again, the surrendered, well, here we go, it's going to be the last fight, all of the vessels we have left are here, Crocher, Sterling, the New York, even though it's called the York, Dragon Rider, uh, Charger 2s, and the Coventry. There's only the Dresden that we don't have. So here we go. Why is the Coventry not going? Because <laughs> I clicked on it. Um, so there we go. The final assault against that. Reserve the lot. And start, and let's see what this is like. It's on aim fire. I'm going to say target the front one. Hmm. It makes holes in it. That that's that's for sure. Let's see if it moves. It does move. Look at the size of that man. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, an interesting ship. <laughs> and it's also putting big holes in things, which is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to move on to more flatlander here. There we go. So that thing is pretty much defeated, I think. Oh, it's still firing at it, though. Now, there we go. Now it's probably going to change it. Actually, I don't think it can get up that hill. It can't. It can't get up the hill. <laughs> oh, poor thing. We'll back up. It's ramming on... Um, it's actually catching on there. Yeah. That's why legs are better for more hilly terrain. But I think the... I think this thing can... Carry more, technically. Right, so that's working out. Okay, reserve. What we're going to do is we're going to activate the York, and it comes on the far left there, and I think that'll do for now. And the combination of these two, now that I was going to say most of their flak and rifles are down, um, it should be just a quick fight, and it was. As soon as that came in, that was it. And we didn't actually... I mean, it took damage. You know, I mean, look at that. It's fairly peppered, but... It seemed to work. Sadly, we didn't have a real big test of it, but that is a victory. Not bad at all. We managed to take all nine cities. We took all of the towns. We destroyed many of the um, extra bits. So we had bees, or giant bees, giant spiders, clockwork wasps, the uh, brigands, I don't know if we fought the brigands, but there were certainly brigands about. There was the stone guardian slash golem thing. And yeah, 
we managed to take them out. We started on the far left in Generica, and there you go. We uh, quickly assaulted uh, Unsea. Ironically, it is not Unsea, it is on the sea. We then went over to Orseville, and we basically took all of these islands around here, and then we made some inways in Dingleton, and then moved along that way. As soon as we took the large shipyard, that was, that was like a, a big, big boost, because it was really the, the time taken to to get it. And there you go. That is a win and a bit of airships conquer the skies. Um, let me know what you think for the, the next series. I am going to continue playing this because uh, I am enjoying it immensely and obviously we've got some more designs to try out and suggestions and obviously we want to test the the, uh, the encroacher a little bit more. So I'm up for playing another campaign but what would you like to see? I mean, we have many, many options for it. Um, certainly map size will be knocking up at least one notch. Don't know if we'll go for the largest one, because it will take forever. Uh, difficulty. Uh, I have tried on hard difficulties, and quite frankly, um, I'm just not qualified to play it anything over, over hard. Um, I've tried it on Imperial, and really the only way to win is just exploit the imbalance of um, high-level bombers and and boarding. I, tend, I find that that's pretty much the way to go. And we could try continent or or whatnot, and yeah, we'll just see what happens. On default monsters or sparse frequent monsters, or whatever. Let me know what you think, and we will go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.